Hey guys, welcome. Thank you so much for all of you who have signed up for my email list and who have chosen to come over here to my website and follow me um, off of Facebook. So I wanted to make a little video about what my departure from social media is all about. Um, so whew, let's start at the beginning. Um, I don't even know how long it's been, maybe almost 10 years now, um, that I started my Patrick Walden psychotherapy business page over at Facebook. Um, the reason I started it is because I was starting out with my private practice and basically running a business for myself. And when you run a business for yourself this day and age, you kind of have to have an online presence for people to find you. So this was before I could even afford a website. I started my private practice with no joke, $200 in my checking account and no savings account. And doing the math about like the four clients I had lined up for myself that week and just being like, yep, okay. It all adds out at the end of the month that you can pay your rent. Let's do this and just hope for more clients because patterns equal patterns. Turned out pretty great. Um, <laughs> but yeah, now I have a website and over time, like at first on the Facebook page, it was like 20 people followed me. It was basically like my friends and people from the community, maybe some clients or other therapists in the community or agencies in the community where I was living started following me. And then one day I was like, oh my God, I have a hundred followers on Facebook. This is amazing. Wow. Um, and I feel like I blinked and had 32,000 followers, which I definitely never set out to do. Not really a social media influencer guy. Um, it just kind of happened. And at first I was like, this is hilarious. And my friends thought it was funny. And it was sort of this joke. And then I stopped making it a joke and was like, okay, no, this is like a thing. And it was kind of cool to have a platform on social media. Um, and be able to use that, you know. Um, near the end of my time, this is what happens when you get a lot of followers on Facebook. Facebook, the company, is not free. It's not a free service. It Sure, we don't have to pay money to be on Facebook, but we pay for it with our time, with our energy, with our eyes, with the advertising that we see, like would pay for it. Um, <clears throat> and near the end of my time there, Facebook actually started offering to pay me as an influencer to get people to like engage, AKA be on Facebook. And it didn't last for long. Um, <laughs> you know, at first I was like, Shh, hell yeah, I'll post on Facebook and like be able to pay for daycare for my kid. Um, but it's just, it just made me be on Facebook more. And I was, I was starting to like find myself like wanting to get likes, wanting to get engagement, wondering why people didn't like certain posts. That is just very much opposing with my values and who I am. In addition, um, I was on Facebook, you know, for business, um, as well as personal, but not really posting on my personal Facebook. And then personally, I was also on Instagram because a long time ago, I stopped personally being on Facebook because it was just like terrible news story after terrible article, like upsetting me. I referred to it as trigger book uh, around that time and went over to Instagram. So I was like, oh, it's just pictures. It's like sharing lovely pictures of me and my little family and like, things that look beautiful with light on them, you know, and stuff like that. And um, more and more, though, Instagram became the same thing, just like story after story about terrible thing going on in the world after terrible thing going on in the world. And in the past, I've been like starts and stops with social media. I've been like, I have to get off of here. I've announced my departure many times and then come back. And 
a little over a week ago. I didn't even say anything. I just deleted my Instagram. That's how over it I was. And then I was like, well, I just got to keep up with the business, you know, Facebook thing, because now I have some kind of incentive. And you guys, it's just not worth it. Um, the more that I have learned about social media, the more upsetting it's really become. Like, I don't know if y'all noticed, but it's kind of addicting. And the apps are addicting on purpose. Like, the algorithms basically figure out how to keep us on the apps as long as possible. Um, when we get that little red notification at the top of the app or when, you know, the banner shows up on the phone that you have a new comment or you have a new like or you have a new follow or whatever, it is addicting. It does the same thing that drugs and substances do to the brain, which is it shoots dopamine the chemical dopamine off in our system, and it feels good and we want more of it. The other thing that Facebook does is the things that get shared the most are not lovely stories. I don't know if you noticed, they are upsetting stories. They are truthfully traumatic things that are being shared over and over again in this like echo chamber of trauma. Um, which spike cortisol, a.k.a. the stress hormone, in all of us. And it's not good, y'all. <laughs> so I have found that I'm just paying for social media with my time. More of it than I always intend on spending on it with my energy. And with my feelings, I found that my feelings were getting manipulated by these apps. So I deleted them. I deleted Instagram off my phone and the whole thing. And then I deleted the app for Facebook off my phone. Now I still do have my Facebook, but the phone is the thing I'm carrying around all the time, much like all of you. And I don't have the app on there. So I have to go to facebook.com, which the websites, by the way, are a lot more clunky and less user-friendly than the app. So I have to go to facebook.com. I have to two-step verification, so it sends a text to me, and I have to... By the time I'm in the middle of all that, I'm done with, I'm bored with the whole thing anyway, and just say, forget it. Um, so that's a kind of a recommendation I have, is like, I think balance is key. Like, you know, if you delete everything, you're probably gonna re-download it in two days. So I think just like, for me, getting off Instagram, maybe forever, maybe for now, I haven't missed it. I have not missed it. Mm. I've craved it, but I've not missed it, and there's a difference there. Um, God, guys, if you want to just enjoy a little bit of peace in your life, get yourself through the craving. Spend like a week, and it's been a detox of this stuff, but like last night in Philadelphia, there was a thunderstorm that rolled in. My little dog Finch, who's napping over there on the couch. Oh yeah, you can see her. Um, she doesn't like thunderstorms so much, and she was shaking and shivering. And I had her up on my bed, and I just like enveloped her little shivering body, and I put on the puppy playlist of like soothing musical songs that I put on for her, and. I just laid with her and attuned with her and listened myself to those very soothing songs amongst the thunderstorm for half an hour and just enjoyed it. I don't remember the last time. I do not remember the last time where I did something like that without reaching for my phone. And it was lovely. And it was even a little bit boring but that was okay. And I started noticing different things happen. Like, I was just like, I wonder where birds go when it's raining. <laughs> and I just got to wonder and I got to guess. And it wasn't until the next day that I Googled it and I was right. They hang out in little shrubberies um, or like hang on to like tree branches and they have oil that they produce to like 
make sure that the raindrops slide off of them. And like, I don't know, I just got to use my brain in a different way rather than be bored and like immediately do something to, to distract myself. <sighs> I think this could help all of our ADHD, by the way. Um, which, by the way, is on an increase. And yeah, guys, we all just deserve lives of peace and joy. And so that's why I'm moving off social media and over here where we can do a lot of the same things. Like I'm still able to create content. I'm still able to share what's on my mind, what's on my heart with you all as much as I want to, just for the sake of it. And you guys are still able to look at this blog. You're able to comment on this blog, comment on each other's comments. I think I'm still figuring all of this out. It's gonna be clunky for a minute, but that's okay. And I just wanna say, Thanks. Thanks for following me over on social media all these years. And thanks for following me as I pivot off social media and do what's more right for me moving forward. Um, I remember a time, I'm going to be 40 in a minute, I remember a time before social media in my life and I remember a time after social media. And I think we can all engage with tech in a way that's maybe a little bit more balanced. Or, you know, do whatever's good for you right now. Clearly, I've had my own journey. So that's the scoop, that's the full scoop, and um, welcome. Stay tuned for more. I'll talk to you all soon.